With just over five weeks before the primary elections, campaigns are doing everything they can to reach out to voters. This includes endorsements from elected officials. In the governor's race, former President Trump endorsed Charles Herbster, and Governor Pete Ricketts endorsed Jim Pillen. As 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us, the other top candidate in the race, Brett Lindstrom, announced a high-profile endorsement of his own. One of the top three Republicans in the race for Nebraska's next governor, Brett Lindstrom, announced the endorsement of Mayor Jean Stothert on Monday. As she said, she'll be voting for the Omaha State Senator. The best candidate to serve as our next governor is Brett Lindstrom. And with that, Mayor of Omaha Jean Stothert officially weighed in on the Republican primary for Nebraska's next governor. The three-term mayor lauded Winstrom's work on cutting taxes in the state. He's been leading the effort in the legislature for a major tax cut proposal that drops individual and corporate income taxes, as well as a quick phase out of Social Security taxes. That is the type of leadership we need in Nebraska. Stothers of the work Winstrom has done on taxes, plus his pitch as the voice of a younger generation that will work to keep young people in the state, and that he has plans to make this happen also swayed her vote. And I say, see, his plan is, is, is not only the strongest, it's one of the few plans that I have seen that is truly written out and articulated. Winstrom is in a tight Republican primary with businessman Charles Herbster and Nebraska Regent Jim Pillen. A poll released by the Herbster campaign last month showed Herbster with 30% support compared to Pillen's 18% and Lindstrom's 17%. The race has spawned bitter attack ads from some campaigns and dark money packs. But Lindstrom has only done positive ads, something Stothert noticed as she stayed positive in her race last year. Brett is, is doing a positive campaign and that meant a lot to me. This marks the biggest endorsement yet for the Lindstrom campaign, which has slowly built momentum over the last few months. I think uh, the mayor's endorsement uh, is, is one of the endorsements that will move the needle the most out of all the endorsements that we've seen. Now that's saying something. And as Pillen already has gotten the support of Governor Pete Ricketts, and Herbster received the endorsement of former President Trump last year. Lindstrom seems content with the major endorsement he just received. I personally would rather have the mayor than Donald Trump. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Pillen's campaign team announced today that they will have a major announcement tomorrow in Lincoln at the state capitol.